Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 34 of The New Frontier. We're still working on the industrial craft stuff, and I think I'm going to expand some of the ore processing. Um, before, I was able to uh, create a macerator, and this is basically taking any kind of ores and uh, crushing them up, and that doubles the amount of ores. Um, basically, if we were to take a look at the macerator um, and the uses we can see that it creates from ores uh, this uh, crushed copper ore um, so we could just throw this in the uh, the furnace and that's why I have the electric furnace here I could do that and just double and that is at least the same as what we have upstairs but we could probably do a little bit better than that. But uh, before I do that, there's actually something that I want to accomplish, and that is to be able to get the items out of this macerator and push them into the inventory right next to it. And in order to do that, we will need something in the industrial craft. Let me actually center this. I like my search bar in the middle because I don't really like that uh, very small bar industrial craft and we want an upgrade and this is going to be an injector upgrade this automatically outputs to the first valid slot and I should probably go ahead and create this as a recipe so let's go ahead and throw it in here and uh, are these the industrial craft tin plates tin yeah that should be so let me go ahead and create the, yeah, the pattern for that um, Throw that in there, that is fine. Now let's go ahead and craft up one of those upgrades. Um, I am probably going to need a total of about four of them, so I am going to uh, go ahead and create four. And this is uh, going over here and using the, uh, the metal former in order to uh, convert these tin ingots into the, uh, the tin plates. So at least this particular um, crafting is actually working out really well for us of course we can get into uh, some speed upgrades and things like that later and uh, right now we're only using this uh, coal generator and this is a power one or um, power level one so that's going to take a little bit but we should be able to at least get that ejector upgrade uh, we got one of them so far, and if we were to uh, look at the, uh, the right hand side, we can see uh, different slots for this. I can go ahead and just shove it right there, and this will be able to eject into the first available slot. So let's take a look at this in action. Let's go ahead and grab some of these uh, copper ore that haven't been processed yet. And if we were to uh, run down here and uh, go ahead and crush this up in the, uh, the macerator, it will be able to automatically output this to the first available inventory that it can find. Just like that. You saw the little blip and now we can see that it is actually using the furnace to uh, smelt these into the copper ingots. That is pretty nice. Nice. And it had some experience for me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, so the, uh, the next thing that I want to do we can go a little bit further in regards to making even more output from a single ore. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, first thing that I'm going to do is come over here to Evilcraft. If you remember, I created some of these eternal um, water blocks and that is going to serve a very important purpose and and that is going to be with refined storage fluid storage and I do not know which fluid I want to store um, that one might be fine fluid storage part I'm wondering if I should uh, create patterns for this um, that's new kind of silicon, galactic core silicon. We want to be able to store fluids into our system. Just as we have the disks here for items, 
These uh, fluid storage blocks allow you to store any kind of fluid that you want. Um, it could be lava, could be gasoline, could be oil, could be water. And uh, that is what I want to do. But right now, I do not have the 64K fluid part. I wonder what that would look like. Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. So uh, let me go ahead and create the auto crafting recipes for this because this is just uh, the same stuff that we've already done. I don't know if I have a pattern for a bucket. Yeah, I might end up having to uh, start with a bucket first and uh, go from there. And let's uh, go ahead and create all of these patterns. I will put them in the crafter and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and created the other uh, patterns for 64K, 128, 256, and the 512. <laughs> I figure why not? So I went ahead and crafted up a 128. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, I believe I need an importer. Is that correct? Um, that may not be correct. I think I need a storage, external storage. Um... I think I need the importer as well. <laughs> so let me uh, go ahead and craft up one of those or grab the one that's in there. External storage. This one should be almost done. And we should be able to uh, bring this downstairs and uh, go ahead and hook this up. And then we will have uh, water in the system. So let me go ahead and grab a bucket. Grab a uh, brand new bucket. And I will actually need a little bit of water. Looks like it's nighttime, so let's uh, sleep real quick so that we don't have any issues. And uh, you probably noticed all of the uh, the given stuff. Um, <laughs> apparently that's going to uh, give away what I'm planning on doing in this episode. Um, but I was in a creative world, and apparently all of those messages carry over. Um, didn't cheat anything into this world. It was in a different one. Um, just in case you saw that. If not, don't worry. It wasn't there. <laughs> All right. Um, so this uh, storage. Um, maybe I will put storage over here. And uh, this is going to use the external storage and this is going to be fluids and I am going to store water in this guy and over here just right next to it might as well um, this will have an importer on it and this is going to be type fluids and uh, that is actually starting to pull the water into the network that is pretty nice so now we have um, 34 buckets worth of uh, water, which is very cool. Don't think that I need anything faster than that. I could put uh, speed upgrades. Mm, not sure if I want to deal with that. Um, but we might want to go ahead and create a fluid grid so that we can actually see this stuff. Um, let me uh, do that off camera so that we don't have to uh, wait for this guy. Uh, I don't think I need... A recipe for this. I know that I have the other uh, grid recipe. Um, why do I have portable grids? What are portable grids? Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't know. Um, I think that was a mistake from a upgrade. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that one out. But um, let me go ahead and create the uh, the fluid grid. Um, off camera, advanced processor. Yeah, this will take a little bit, so uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, so a little bit later, and we should have a fluid grid in our system, and we do. And uh, again, for the time being, um, for the lack of places, I will uh, get, go ahead and put this guy um, right here, I guess. Kind of a gross spot. But this will allow us to uh, see all of the other uh, fluids in the system, and that is perfect. And uh, you probably wonder why I'm doing that, and it's because of the, uh, the very next step to this process. So right next to a macerator, I want to be able to uh, process 
the items that go in here. So let me go ahead and grab this electric furnace back and place this guy right here. And uh, we should see that it creates the dust or the gravel or whatever it's called. I cannot remember. But to process that, we can use an ore process or washing facility or something like that. Ore washing plant. That's it. So let's go ahead and create one of these guys. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, I think I might actually have a lot of these. So let me go ahead and grab a bucket. Thank you. A circuit, I think. And a motor, do I have that? No, I don't have the electric motor as a recipe. Well, shoot, I thought I did. Um, or washing. Electric motor, electric circuit, circuit. That is still crafting. Probably should go ahead and create the other uh, motor circuit or the other uh, motor recipe. And uh, let's go ahead and do that one. Ten item casing. Uh, do we have the coil as a recipe? We do. What about the ten item casing? I mean, we have some, and we have the recipe. Oh. Okay, so apparently we had everything needed for that. Um, where was I putting this crap? Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. So now we should be able to uh, create the uh, the motors. Two of those guys. That should actually be fairly quick, since we already had some of these items. I think we might have to extrude some copper. Let's go ahead and grab our circuit motor. Da, da, da. And while this is going, um, let's go ahead and set up the, uh, the next step. Uh, since it's a ore washing plant, we will need water. So let me go ahead and in the back, let's go ahead and put an exporter. Exporter. Go ahead and craft one of those guys up. We're going to put an exporter on the back of the block. And that probably going to use a cable. Oops, not there. But right there. And we will uh, put an exporter right on the back. Oops. Um, what did I hit? X. <laughs> Apparently that's a key binding for something. Alright, there we go. You will right, be right there, but we want type fluids and we're going to use a water bucket to Call it what kind of fluid we want to actually extract and what the heck is that what is that is that a weapon I am going to kill you and try to take your weapon oh then give it to me jerk <laughs> all right um, Let's see if that ore washing plant is ready for us. That was just requiring the uh, the two motors. We got one of them. What's taking so long for the next one? Oops, did not mean to place that. Eh, it looks like it was still extruding, but it looks like it's done now. Motor. Cool. So now we have this guy, and that's a power tier one. Be sure to always check. Oh, I did get that. What is a golden mace? Ow. Oh, six attack damage. Now yeah, that stinks. Looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big weapon. <laughs> Alright. Um, enough fun and games. Let's get back to it. Ore washing plant. We are going to uh, replace this guy with an ore washing plant. That's going to fill up with power. And you can see that it already received the crushed copper ore because of the fact that this had an ejector upgrade and that is pretty nice. So now this is just burning through the power. Got to keep an eye on that. Should probably just for the time being let's go ahead and create a, a hopper for this and a hopper coal into my generator just so that we have a, a constant supply all right so here you can see that it actually creates these little tiny piles of copper dust and if we uh, take a look at the uses for them 
nine of them will create copper dust. So we do have a chance of actually getting more copper than we started with. So now out of the single ore, we got four tiny piles of copper dust plus the two. So we have two ingots here and almost half of another ingot here. And uh, stone dust, that's just going to be used for some CF powder. And we're actually going to use that at some point in the future, but not right now. So that's the ore washing plant. So that is pretty cool. So um, the next thing is to either throw this into an electric furnace or um, we can uh, throw this into a thermal generator or thermal. Let's see. Um, why is my mind drawing a blank? <laughs> what is this mod called? <laughs> Industrial craft. Oh, it's been a long day. Um, this is a uh, thermal centrifuge. And it doesn't look like I have the stuff to create that yet. So we might have to stop at this level. And that's a power tier two. Um, if we uh, take a look at that, we can see that the uh, interface is a little bit more complicated, but um, we should be able to uh, take the crushed iron ore, which was from the, uh, the washer, and uh, we have iron dust, so it's a one-to-one -to, -one to iron dust, but it also gives us a little bit more stone dust and a tiny pile of gold dust, so this will actually extract little tiny piles of other types and I think the uh, thermal centrifuge is really the only way to uh, get the uh, uranium once we uh, start mining uranium um, to uh, get uranium 238 and uh, 235 that might be the only way so if we ever want to uh, look at the nuclear reactors um, that's kind of the way that we have to go but I think for now because of the fact that it's a uh, power tier three, we may end up having to uh, keep it at this for now. So let's go ahead and get the stuff out. And that is going to require um, 10 insulated cable, which is the uh, power tier one. Let's go ahead and throw an electric furnace here. And right now we're not getting that because we're not auto injecting. So let's go ahead and create an ejector upgrade. We already have one which is good. Throw this guy in here and that ejected into here and this will be able to smelt it into the uh, the copper ingot. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night real quick. Ugh, mouse. Otherwise we're gonna be listening to that turret all night long and I really don't want to hear that too loud. All right. So let's go ahead and run downstairs and see what we got. Two copper ingots, very, very cool. <laughs> Apparently there's still guys out there, but you can notice that we also have these uh, piles still in here because these don't fit into this inventory. So that is not a valid inventory. And if we take a look at the uh, tooltip, we can see that it automatically outputs to the first valid side. And since that's not a valid side for those types, it will not go in there and it will stay in there forever. And that's gonna be a problem if we were to uh, process some other type of ore, such as iron or gold, because then it won't run until these are gone. So what we need to do is probably grab a chest put this guy right here it's going to output those to the valid inventory and then we're done but we obviously want to go ahead and import those back into the network so let's go ahead and use an importer I mean we could um, take this import just the stone dust and for any of these we can probably put an auto crafter here and once there's nine of the uh, tiny piles it'll be able to craft it up into whatever these craft up into which is uh, dust and then we can uh, just smelt this right in the uh, the electric furnace but I'm probably not going to go to that extreme we'll probably accumulate a lot of those pieces of dust and I just pop my pee um, pieces of dust over time but uh, that should be fine um, we will handle that manually for now 
So I need to get back here so I can uh, import that stuff and we can see that it imports just fine. So what I want to do is uh, probably uh, probably grab an exporter. So let's go, oh, what am I missing? Nether quartz, really? Nether quartz, really? Can I, ooh, a kiln. What can I get nether quartz from? I can crush stuff, but it requires to have quartz already. <laughs> That's not very helpful. Um, I could use a mana infusion, but I am not to the point of doing any Batania. Um, there might be, oops, wrong direction. There might be an exporter right here that I'm not using. Correct. I am not using this one. Don't think. No, I'm not. So I am going to snag that guy real quick. And let's go ahead and program him. Probably right here. That was weird. Um, right here. And I am going to start exporting other things that... What is that? Crafting. I don't need a crafting. I think I was uh, crafting something with that um, speed. Yeah, I need a speed upgrade. Just so that I can get stuff in here. Um, I probably want to uh, go ahead and do this with the basics. Like copper, um, iron, and gold. So let's go ahead and get that stuff. Do I not have copper? ore being exported anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Looks like I have two different types of ore as well. Um, what other kinds of ores do I have? I have 10. Apparently I didn't grab those types of ores. Um, aluminum? Um, can this be used? I am not sure if this can be used. It doesn't look like macerators on here. Let's uh run down and throw an aluminum in there and see nope that doesn't work alright um, I'm pretty sure that does that does so let's go ahead and throw these guys in there and that will start up this guy and of course right now it's going to be very very slow like right now that was just one ore <laughs> and it's washing and this is going to be very very slow for the time being um, this can get faster over time um, if I uh, take a look at industrial craft um, we have these upgrades and we have overclocker upgrades and I might look at those sometime in the very very near future but at least we have the ability to potentially triple uh, it's not exactly a triple of the ores at this point um, but we do have a little bit extra coming in because of the uh, the little piles of dust that uh, show up whenever we wash it so over time we'll be able to uh, convert those and that's going to be pretty cool um, I guess the uh, the next step is to go ahead and import this stuff back into the system um, well, I mean, we could just use an ejector and extend this, and that might be the way I do it. <laughs> kind of a uh, cheap way. Um, ejector. Oops. Ejector. Upgrade. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And it's just going to eject up here. We already have the import bus, so might as well use that here as well. Cool. And then let's go ahead and fix all of our walls that we've been breaking and that is going to do it for the simple ore processing so uh, let me go ahead and check for the other time and uh, see where we're at and I'll be right back all right I am back and we have a little bit more time so I decided to uh, go ahead and create another macerator and uh, this one I really don't know where to put these things I'm just haphazardly putting them right now that is 10 
because this is a tier one. I did have to uh, disconnect all of this processing stuff because this was like eating all of the power. It was taking forever to actually uh, craft anything. So I went ahead and uh, just disconnected. Eventually we're going to uh, do a little bit better with the other uh, power supply. But for right now we're just trying to uh, speed through some of this stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Does this rotate anything? No. Man, what a pain. Wrench. Do any of these others... I don't even know what that is. This says rotation mode. Oh, there we go. Nice! Because that one is from Refined Storage, I think. Alright, so now we have a, a crafter on top of a macerator. And that is because we are going to use that for some auto crafting. And these are importers on the back. So let's go ahead and grab another importer. I don't know what happened to my text. There we go. Oh, that's right. Another quartz. Um, let me... Oh, what a pain. What a pain. Do I have any just dangling around here? No. All right. So it looks like I need to take a trip to the nether and I'll be right back. All right, quick nap and a uh, trip to the nether. I was able to uh, retrieve some nether quartz and I went ahead and started creating my importer right here. So let's go ahead and run down and hook this guy up and we should be able to import any recipes that this is able to macerate. And you're probably wondering what we're planning on macerating. And that is a good question because that we take a look at this guy lapis we want this guy right here and that is going to craft from a lapis block does it have to be a lapis block one two three four five six okay so that I'm just gonna do it like that um, probably don't need to deal with a block there we go, throw this guy in. And this creates lapis lazuli dust. And lapis lazuli dust is going to be very handy moving forward. So that should be able to uh, macerate. And as soon as that's done, it should be imported back in the network and that's going to be good. So um, why do we need that? Well, I want to go ahead and create a canning machine. And this is going to be a fluid and solid canning machine. And let's go ahead and grab a tin insulated cable. Because this guy, we are going to place... Um, where are we going to place this guy? Maybe right there. You can see that this is a kind of complicated user interface. Let's go ahead and grab that tin cable. Looks like we're going to need two now. There we go. Go ahead and hook this guy up. I think this is a uh, tier one. I could be mistaken, but it just means that it doesn't have a lot of power. And I think that I need to uh, convert this until I see this guy. And this is a fluid enrich. And basically what that tells me is that it's going to enrich a fluid. And we are going to enrich that fluid, um, in this particular case, water with lapis lazuli dust. So let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like. Um, doo -doo -doo. We need to have an exporter. Why am I doing it like that? I want the exporter from here because we need to be able to export water into this guy. And uh, we also need to be able to craft using this guy. Probably didn't need a big gap in between here. I, I'm probably going to rearrange this at some point, but uh, let's go ahead and grab our exporter. Take a look at that. Grab our cables, connect those two and connect these two. Yep, don't really need that kind of uh, <laughs> spot in here. Um, all right. This guy, let's go ahead and filter him on water. Get rid of that. There we go. And that is filling up. Very, very nice. 
And let's go ahead and grab some of that lapis lazuli dust that we created. That should go in that slot right there. Cool. So um, let's uh, go ahead and create another pattern because we want to actually bottle this guy up because that is a, a canning machine. Uh, so we want to create some universal cells. And that's just a little bit of uh, glass pane and some tin item casing. So let's go ahead and create that recipe. Throw that in there somewhere. And cell. We have that. Cool. And uh, let's go ahead and create some more lapis. And I think this is going to require maybe like eight or so. Is that nighttime already? No, it's noon. Not exactly sure why that's going off. Now let's just double check this guy because I am curious. I don't know if this has the ability to shove things into the right spots. Um, could have the other uh, typical issue that we always have. Um, but let's go ahead and grab our lapis as it comes out because we want to be able to throw this universal fluid cell in here with some lapis and this hasn't started yet so that just tells me that we don't have enough lapis lapis kinda wish this could go faster <laughs> but that's exactly what we're doing right we're creating uh, some stuff to make this go faster lap ah, this is gonna take a little bit I'll be back all right, I'm hoping that this is the last one. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. And this is starting, so it does require eight lapis lazuli dust and an universal fluid cell. And that is going to uh, create some IC2 coolant, which is kind of cool. I don't think I need that. Can I put that there? Can I do that? No. Um. think if I were to switch it to canning does that work no <laughs> I don't remember how to use this fill cell from tank but I think that's gonna be water so if I switch the tanks and do that that should put the IC2, IC2 coolant into that cell, and it does. But now it's filling with water, and I don't want it to fill with water. And why'd you have to fill with water? Can I just dump that water? Boo. But we were able to uh, create a universal fluid cell, and that's what we're going to be needing, because if we uh, take a look at this, we can uh, create a 10K coolant cell from that. And from a, a 10K coolant cell, we can actually create these overclocker upgrades. Um, and that's going to uh, speed up all of our equipment, but unfortunately we have reached that wrapping up point. Unfortunately we weren't able to uh, get to the, uh, the rest of this. It would have been nice if we could have um, got to that a little bit quicker, but um, we're going to uh, have that for the next episode. So I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. We were able to at least get the um, or washing plant and all of this line. Um, we're going to expand this as soon as we have a little bit more on the other uh, speed upgrades and definitely need to look into our power situation because this power is not going to be able to handle all of these machines because this is only 32 EU per tick for the output and on this uh, 10 cable uh, that's not a lot so I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you could rate and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, please hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.